Yeah, it's an elimination bracket. So PJ, for someone who's like just never watched both for the most part, and they see these two characters that seem just functionally the same, what are the primary differences between those two? Um, I think the two biggest differences is that Krom is quote unquote more consistent in the sense that um, he does not have a hilt or strong hitbox. It's consistent throughout. But the thing that makes Roy more consistent in the meta, being right where he needed it, and but like this is the thing, like when whenever Samba gets something going. Goblin seems to be ready to oh. answer right away. And, and the thing is, Rob was ready for it. He shielded, but then it's like, nope, multi-hit. Too, too long. And the dash attack after the Nair just to get a little bit of like more extended damage. Yeah, drop that right away. Yeah, that Z-drop. Very nice. A little cute little Z-drop from Goblin. That'll be the jab to side B. Not nope. quite ready to kill, but it will, will do some fantastic damage. I think half the castle would die today. <laughs> we'll see the situation. Multiple Oh, that times. was amazing! Okay. Starting off early. Quick 30 right there. All right, like that. Going past the ledge. Early, uh, oh, early man. option you can definitely go for. Big 48, man. Jeez. Right now it's Goblin in the driver's seat, racking up all the damage, getting all the parries, the forward smash. I give it up, man. I was gonna get up after the last set, then I saw these two sitting down. I was like, never mind. I'm not going anywhere. This shit's gonna be fire. Okay, rolling right there. Goblin probably expecting to roll out. Yeah, Ouch is very sick. Very unique wolf. Uh, I mean, obviously one of the players we talked about that's in contention with Jack. Airtight forward air and there, being able to bust him out of that. But another double-edged dance to, to bring him down to earth. The up he comes through as well. Goblin keeping this nice and even with Larry, he's dead! Wow, 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 wow. Well, you know how that goes versus where you're a little bit too close. You know how my hitboxes works. The closer, the better. Up yeah, till shuts it down. That hilt sweet spot that Roy loves so much, he's more than happy to play that close range game. But Wolf, he's no slouch there either. Goblin getting a great chase to continuously put Larry in the corner and jab F smash. That's going to be it. Double edge stance right now being the MVP closing out his whole first attack. And right now the street conversion coming out from Goblin's part. Just non-stop throwing out the uppers. The uppers leading so much damage. And the street, the source buff, I'm sorry, actually dealing a lot to a lot of morph conversion. And is this IB going to be enough? It is not, but Goblin is just deciding to not let Soul back. At this point, Goblin is just... Man, Goblin, you know, playing a very dangerous game right there. Just kind of drifting around. Fatality is looking for these back airs, but, I mean, good awareness and great spacing to get around that and still grab the ledge. Uh-oh. No! You're dead? Yeah. What I'm going to see in this matchup, because one of the things that Syrup did excellently, just did phenomenally against Cosmos, was edge guard getting off stage, punishing Cosmos, and you see Goblin <laughs> trying to do it there with that forward air, trying to burst down there. Starts the game off with 62. The Goblin really does not have an off switch. Like, he is the kind of person who has a killer edge that never doles. If you give him an opening, oh my god, he is going to get right in your face, and he is going to throw out that kill option immediately. No double jump right now. Gonna have to do max distance on that up B, but this is what you expect to see when Goblin's got the lead. He is at his best when he can just govern the pace of the match and Cosmos right now not feeling like he has any chance to slow him down. Just slamming into him over and over with those up bees. I don't know, the way Goblin plays, he's like a ram sometimes. He just headbutts you again and again. Just debilitating. Huge back air there, not enough to KO just yet. But Cosmos is not long for this world. Over extend, but wait till he can get over Goblin. That way he goes Oh yeah, no, but this aerial train is going to do a solid 41% automatically. I don't want to get caught by those. Oh, trying to go for an up, really not going to work. That's why you got to go for grabs. Yeah, no. Ten was playing it patient there, waiting for that side beat, because he knows Goblin likes to delay it. And because of that, he got that punish as well. Very nice. Oh, that jump too. Punish the recovery of Roy, but that'll be more damage for Goblin here. Light trap situation now. And there he was like, I'm... Uh, Ramp jab just in case you uh, jump right away. Yeah, that was really good from Goblin there because he just did the one safe thing. He didn't give up any safe. Yeah, hey, look how safe he that did, is. He didn't overcommit. He just did the one jab and then backed off. I love that. Your wise words not so safe. No, no. He, I believe he's it's. Playing it right. I believe it's negative three on shield. See how he's waiting out for all. He's like, I know that uh, this character. Oh, why did you drop your shield? <laughs> the platform. So good stuff from Anathema there. Finds his first stock. Jab to side B. Will do damage. Nope, and uh, this is like a repeat of stock one. Yeah. Exact same percentage. Exact same situation. Grabs him. Tries to get the F throw. Will we see a jab? No, we will not. Anathema making his way back to center, where it's hopefully more safe. Are you, are you trying to punish my down to get? No, you better reset neutral. Nice parries. <laughs> Airing out the projectiles, just showing 
that Goblin is ready to react. Dangerous situation. Not oh, he's like, no, you thought, though. Usually uses like some kind of cheap damage or, or crowd control where I'm going to put a stop right here from you. If you're trying to rush me down, I'm just going to use this and it's going to stop you on your track, right? But I think that I can understand what's the, what the train of thought behind that. He doesn't use the reticle because Roy has the speed to be able to, be yeah. able to reply back to it, right? He can rush it down easily. Yes. That can make the reticle whip. So the real come from how he uses it. And watch out, we're gonna go for the upper. But it's a hard spot to be in. Beautiful. Trying to position himself with a double edge dance, but we're gonna have a, a barbecue today. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very impressive coming out from Diz. He, he heard the plant taunts and he's like, let me show you what I can do. Yeah, exactly, man. It's like, don't disrespect my Sonic like that. <laughs> exactly. I, got, I got sauce, I got other characters. Mm -hmm, and honestly, mm -hmm. you know, Diz. He, he played the cheese game way too long. This guy has fundamentals. He's a good player. He's time easily to, one of the best coaches yeah, in CFL. It's time to finally use it, you know? Yeah, it has so many hits to it, and the super armor always coming in clutch, especially against a character like Ken. Focus, we'll skip get it, him skip through. The and now he has to side B. Or he, he can just up here there. Yeah, Goblin looking for the edge guard there. That was goofy. Oh, but he that, that, the aimbot on Ken there, turning around all which way to try and hit the Roy. Oh, that was so good. See, down, you can't mess with down to Chance that Jack may have to be able to to to, to get a, a second win, you know? Yep. We were talking about earlier how Jack is just He's mixing his game plan quite a lot. There's times where he tries to get in, there's times where he tries to read in Goblin. There's a lot of times where he just wastes the patient's game in which he looks for the entrance that Goblin may offer him, but none of them are actually working. I'm not entirely sure what may be going on because this is not the check that we are used to see. The footsies prayer is the, the footsies. footsies. Have you seen how much Goblin is spacing himself around Shaq? Have you seen how much even Shaq had to stop down for a second? Oh my god! Fear for Goblin here. It is. I mean, this is it's a totally even game still. And we see even sometimes Jigglypuff will take on a bunch of damage and they'll come back swinging with some crazy combo or ledge guard. Yeah, for sure. Just like right there. Both of them try to switch up their momentum. Goblin came out on top with that upbeat. But Beamog did go for that side beat earlier. Just like wait out some kind of jump out of shit. Parries, but no punish. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, just running into him on the tech. Trying to chase it down for real, for real. Putting that, putting the out some hit box this. Uh oh. Oh man, I thought he was gonna redo it. Right. Got the air dodge out, and he got the R stand. A run back, uh, double edge dance would have definitely kill killed right there. It's all good though. It's hard to react at the time, but he got it anyway. Doesn't matter.